Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today we are putting up the new wallpaper that Aspen told you guys about in the last vlog. We're also picking up the house, which is super convenient because today's video is sponsored by Bissell. They sent us the new Bissell Icon Pet high powered cordless vacuum, which is perfect for all you people that have pets. So this is the vacuum, this is what it looks like. It has a nice sleek design and it has this removable bin for the garbage. So it's super easy to dump all the stuff you pick up from the vacuum. It has three different cleaning modes to work on any different floor type and it has swivel steering to move around Furniture and any tough corner it charges really quickly on a wall mount and it also turns into a hand vacuum Or stick vacuum so that you can easily clean up your dog's stuff on the bed like I'm gonna clean up right now so We've told you guys how Luma plays in the wood chips all the time in our backyard And she brings them in because they stick to her fur and she comes and rolls around on her bed or on the couch And it leaves wood chips everywhere. So this is not a joke. I was literally coming in here to vacuum this up and then Aspen was like, wait, we need to film this sponsorship. So it worked out perfectly. And also something that we're really excited about, for every Icon Pet high powered cordless vacuum sold, Bissell will donate $25 to the Bissell Pet Foundation to help and pet homelessness. They're donating at least a million dollars in 2019, which I think is awesome. So definitely check this out. I'm gonna have a link down below. This is an awesome product. Way back when, before we ever got Luma, we wanted to get a French Bulldog, but the reason we didn't wanna get one is because we know they shed a lot. But with a pet hair vacuum like this, you don't have to worry about that. So anyways, I need to clean off our bed and go vacuum a few other spots using our new vacuum. And then we'll get into putting up the new wallpaper paper up in the nursery. nursery we've shown you guys the nursery we showed ourselves initially decorating it a couple months ago we never like fully finished it because i just felt like i don't know i wasn't like loving it and i kind of talked about this the other day in a vlog so i have this rug that i love and i want to keep in here and then we have like this pillow and stuff and these are kind of like warmer toned pinks and this it's kind of really subtle on the camera it's subtle in real life too but on camera i feel like it's always a little bit less like visible but it's just like a subtle pink stripe pattern but it's kind of more of like a cool tone pink and so i was trying to decide if i wanted to move this wallpaper into our living room because it is like removable and I think you can put it back up. I don't think we'll have a problem. It's basically like a giant sticker that doesn't like damage anything. And I'll show you guys our living room. The lighting's very different out here. So I have to change the camera settings really quick. This is our second living room. And basically this has like, obviously it has decor. It has the couch and stuff, but I've wanted to put wallpaper up on this wall and then get something to hang. And I feel like the stripe wallpaper will be perfect. And I think it will be really cute with our gray couch. So we got Got a different wallpaper. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. So we have this wallpaper that we're gonna hang up. I measured the wall, the wall out there, and I think that this wallpaper should be like exactly the same dimensions. Hoping that I didn't mess that up. You guys know that I'm not good at stuff like that. We're going to get started taking this down. So babe, how do you wanna do it? Do you wanna do like one piece at a time? Yeah. It's gonna be a project for the day. We're gonna take down like one piece at a time, put it up on the other one, and then this one is a little bit harder because it's stripes. You have to like perfectly line it up. I'm really excited decided to hang up the rainbows because it is gonna be so much easier because you don't have to like line up every single like inch of it even though it like pretty much lines up you know like that's how it's printed but it's gonna be easier so we're gonna get started So we just got the wallpaper hung and finished and I got the edges cut off and stuff. Got the crib put back. It looks really good. This one actually went up a lot quicker than I was yeah. expecting it, you know? It kind of went. It'd be easier if you 
easier? I think it, it was easier because we did the other one first. I think it looks good. There's not a lot of bubbles. All the seams fit, met up like pretty perfectly. I think it looks so cute. Aspen wants to hang this mirror up right here now. So she's got me on the job. We're at Paris? Yeah. Right there? It's a little too high, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, then I, right there. Then I, I can't even look in it. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Then do it a little higher. Right there? Yeah. Are you sleeping, Kobe? Babe, you just stuck that nail in there? I hope that's good. <laughs> you said yeah. We didn't like measure or anything. I know, but I held it up and you said I like that spot. Okay. Cutie. Now show them the other thing I got. I also got this cute little hanging she thing. Got this tiny little thing. I don't know why you think. It's I think you like haven't a, seen it's the. It's like a playhouse. No. no. You obviously haven't seen my. Inspo on Pinterest. Wow. Okay, move over to this side and then hold it out. No, it's gotta be closer to the mirror a little bit and then a little bit down. Or I think I want it up and then I think I'm gonna put like a picture frame or something below. Hold up the other one right there so that I can see it with like three things. My arms are starting to hurt. What I can't decide. Okay, I can't decide where to put it. <laughs> you know, bless you. I wanna do three things here and I don't have the third one yet so I don't know where to hang the second one. But I also got a little mobile thing for right here and then we need to switch out the light. So we are making progress but not quite finished yet so i am gonna have a final tour up on my main channel soon i'll let you guys know when i don't know when it will be within a couple weeks maybe this week maybe in like two weeks to show you guys what we are making for dinner. So right now, I spilled a little bit, but I'm making some rice and then corn. This is something we have been making every single week since Cove was born. My mom made these for us when she was like meal prepping stuff for us the first couple weeks and it was so good. So basically I have this whole tray of veggies I'm gonna put in the oven. So you can kind of put whatever you want, but I have broccoli, chickpeas, corn, and red pepper. Luma, why are you ringing the bell? You were just outside for an hour. Then I have some sweet potatoes in the oven and I'm actually about to stick this in here too. So these have been cooking at 450 for like 45 minutes now and then I'm just gonna have the veggies in here for another like 10 minutes, maybe 15. And then I have my rice. So I don't even know if I said what we're making. It's basically just like a rice bowl with veggies and it is so good. I also need to make the dressing so I'm gonna get the stuff out for that. Okay guys, the bowls are done. So we got rice, sweet potatoes, the veggies. And I'll have the dressing recipe up on the screen. I actually only made enough for me because you don't usually eat it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and Parker just used up the whole thing. No, I only want it on this. My bad. Parker does like it. I think it's really good. And then we usually just add some soy sauce and it's vegan unless you add chicken like Parker does sometimes. Yeah, I eat it. But it's so yummy. And then I have two more bowls over there. So I make enough to have for lunch for the next two days. Before I end the vlog, I wanted to show you guys how the wallpaper up here turned out. It turned out pretty good for re it being reapplied from the other wall, I think. We did have some bubbles down here, but they're behind the couch and you can't really tell. And there's like the cutout from the other outlet that didn't match up with this outlet, but it turned out pretty good. Another part is up here. It didn't quite go right with the wall, but most of it isn't that noticeable. I think it looks really good. That is gonna be it for our vlog today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the Bissell vacuum I showed you guys earlier. The link is in the description. That's going to be all for the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you in our next one. Bye guys. Thank you again to Bissell for sponsoring today's video.